on this video I will show you more about vendor dashboard so your vendor can go to the vendor dashboard page and then they can log in here for example I will log in with John username and password and then you can go to the vendor dashboard again and you will see okay this is the sales report and this is the order details so let's say for example the your vendor already ship this product they can click mark ship right now or you okay or they can for example if you they want to show the details they will they can click show orders here okay they can also export the orders here so let's go back to the vendor dashboard again and then they they can also view their store here okay to go to their store on sub vendor page they can go to the store settings to edit their vendor settings for example I will click it and then this is the PayPal address shop name and also seller info they can edit it here and also the shop description okay if they want to add new products or edit current products they can do it from this link edit products for example uh, this is their product or they can add product here okay yeah so if you want to control uh, this uh, feature about how they can edit their product you can do it from WC vendor page but right now you will see that on this product you will see the button is not published but submit for review which means the administrator should approve this product manually so let's say for example I will add John product blah 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 then I will music for example I will give the price 27 I will click submit for review okay and then I will log out now I will log in as admin now okay I will go to the dashboard can okay you will see there is a notification here right one which means there is a one pending review product when I click this one you will see John product is pending you can edit this product for example okay take over and then you will click publish you can click publish to approve this product from John and now John product is live okay so you can control uh, more about these capabilities using this two uh, by visiting WooCommerce WC vendor page, you can go to the capabilities, and then this is the permission for vendors. They can view order, view comment, submit comment, export their product, or view reports, or submit product. Or you can also give them ability to edit live product or submit product live without requiring approval. Also, you can visit products tab to see uh, what you want to hide from all product when they add product. Thank you very much.